Hello and welcome to our English learning podcast. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of American English and British English. Have you ever wondered why there are differences between these two versions of English? Well, stick around because we're going to explore that and much more. First things first, let's talk about what exactly American English and British English are. Essentially, they're two variations of the English language that developed independently over time due to historical, cultural, and geographical factors. Now, let's delve into some of the key differences between American and British English. One of the most noticeable distinctions is pronunciation. For example, Americans often pronounce the R sound more prominently, while in British English, it's often softer or even dropped in certain words. Another major area of difference is vocabulary. Yes, believe it or not, there are many words that mean the same thing but are different in American and British English. For instance, in American English, you might say apartment, whereas in British English, it's more common to say flat. Grammar is another aspect where you'll find variances. Sometimes the structure of a sentence might be slightly different between American and British English. And don't even get me started on spelling. Words like color and color or center and center might look similar, but are spelled differently depending on whether you're using American or British English. So, why do these differences exist? Well, it all goes back to history. You see, English was brought to America by British colonists several centuries ago. Over time, as America developed its own identity and culture, the language naturally evolved along with it. Meanwhile, back in Britain, English was also evolving, influenced by factors such as migration, trade, and interaction with other languages. But here's the thing, despite these differences, American and British English are still mutually intelligible. That means speakers of one version can generally understand speakers of the other version, even if there are some confusing moments along the way. So, whether you're learning American English, British English, or both, understanding these differences can help you become a more proficient English speaker overall. Plus, it's just plain interesting to learn about the rich history and cultural influences that have shaped the English language into what it is today. Now, let's dive deeper into pronunciation and vocabulary. Pronunciation is a key aspect of any language, and American and British English have their own unique sounds. Let's start with the letter R. In American English, the R sound is often pronounced more strongly, especially at the end of words like car or far. In British English, on the other hand, the R sound is softer or sometimes even dropped altogether in words like water or better. Another pronunciation difference involves vowel sounds. Take the word dance, for example. In American English, it might sound more like D and S, with a shorter vowel sound. But in British English, it could be pronounced more like D and S, with a longer vowel sound. Now, let's move on to vocabulary. As we mentioned earlier, there are many words that mean the same thing, but are different in American and British English. For instance, in American English, you might say elevator, whereas in British English, it's more common to say lift. Similarly, 
In American English, you might talk about soccer, but in British English, it's usually referred to as football. And let's not forget about those tricky spelling differences. Words like center and center or color and color may look similar, but they're spelled differently depending on whether you're using American or British English. So, why do these pronunciation and vocabulary differences exist? Well, once again, it all comes down to history and cultural influences. Over time, as English spread to different parts of the world, it naturally evolved in slightly different ways, depending on the context and environment in which it was spoken. But here's the good news, learning about these differences can actually make you a better communicator. By understanding both American and British English, you'll be better equipped to navigate conversations with speakers of either version. Plus, it's just plain fun to explore the rich tapestry of the English language and all its fascinating variations. 6. Why should we hire you? Use this question as an opportunity to sell yourself to the employer. Highlight your unique skills, experiences, and qualifications that make you the best fit for the job. Focus on how you can add value to the company and contribute to its success. Let's start with grammar. While American and British English generally follow the same basic rules of grammar, there are some subtle differences that you should be aware of. One common difference is the use of certain prepositions. For example, in American English, you might say on the weekend, whereas in British English, it's more common to say at the weekend. Another grammar variation involves verb forms. In British English, you might hear someone say have got to mean have, as in I've got a cat. In American English, however, it's more common to simply say I have a cat. Now, let's talk about expressions and idioms. These are phrases that have a special meaning that might not be immediately obvious from the individual words. And guess what? American and British English are chock full of them. For example, in American English, if someone tells you to hit the hay, they're not talking about violence or farming equipment. They're simply suggesting that it's time to go to bed. Similarly, if someone in British English says they're chuffed to bits, they're not talking about being stuffed with bits of something. They're actually expressing that they're really pleased or excited about something. And let's not forget about those quirky regional expressions. In American English, you might hear someone refer to a soda, whereas in British English, it's more commonly called a fizzy drink or just pop. And if you're in the mood for a snack, you might reach for a cookie in American English. But in British English, you'd be looking for a biscuit. So why do these grammar and expression differences exist? Well, language is a living, breathing thing that evolves over time. Different regions and cultures put their own spin on it, resulting in the delightful diversity of English that we see today. But don't let these differences intimidate you. Instead, Embrace them as opportunities to broaden your linguistic horizons and connect with people from all over the world. After all, isn't that what language learning is all about? Thank you for joining us on this linguistic adventure. We hope you've gained valuable insights into the rich tapestry of English and feel inspired to continue your language learning journey. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, 
and above all, keep striving for excellence.